make that candy land. Welcome back and if you are new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Today I created a look using only one brand's um, makeup products and that is from Catrice Cosmetics. I've lately been loving their products and uh, some of these products they did send me, others I bought myself and I just threw them all together and decided to create a nice kind of dramatic look that you can also kind of wear you know just tone it down and wear it if this is not wearable for you um, it's got a pink toned lip I'm still not sure about this lip I don't know if I should have gone with a bit more of a nude but anyways it's got some gorgeous chocolate and gold colors 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 on top <laughs> and then you've got a nice um, spinach green at the bottom here I love the name of this eyeshadow it's called Popeye's Daily Dose um, perfect name but yes I actually like the way it turned out and if you want to see how you can get this makeup look using only Catrice makeup products then please keep watching so to start off this look I'm going to grab this Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Primer and I'm just really applying this all over my face but focusing on the outer part of my face because for the nose area and my eyes I'm going to use this one which is a smoothing refiner so yes I'm just gonna apply that to my face and then I'm going to move on to foundation and for foundation I use the even skin tone beautifying foundation in beige nude beige and this is a medium to full coverage foundation but remember I feel like a lot of people just kind of Put a thick layer on for full coverage and what I would recommend like yeah you see me doing a first layer and then I go in with a second layer just to really build on that coverage also if you do one thick full layer it will kind of give you the feeling of a cakey face where if you do two thin layers you get full coverage without any of the cakiness For the brows I'm using the eyebrow set and as you can see I use this one quite a lot. It's got a little tweezer applicator in the back and then I'm going to use this blonde shade to start filling out my brows. First I'm just combing them up um, with the little applicator that I received um, in the set. And then I'm going to start filling it out and I'm sorry I'm going out of view here with the camera but you know how it is with the brows. like can't mess with them so um, yeah I just basically start filling them in and then I'm going to move over um, I mean move on by taking the all-round concealer and I'm using the middle shade of the nude colors the beige colors and this I'm going to pick up and just start carving out my bra and you can see that really really just defines it a little bit more and um, I know this takes a little bit of extra time but I got in the habit of doing this every single day just because it really does give you a nice defined brow and um, yeah that's really the trick that you can use to also if you kind of messed up a little bit with applying the brow powder you can kind of just fix it when it comes to the concealer. I'm going to use the Liquid Camouflage Concealer in Porcelain as an eye base as well. So I'm just patting that on my lids and then blending it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to move on by taking some uh, masking tape. Or maybe dancing first before taking some masking tape. Um, and this is really going to give you a little bit of a guide as to where you want your eyeshadow to stop. Um, it's great for beginners to do an eyeliner as well. You'll see that later on. But yeah, I'm just placing that um, where I want it to be, obviously. And then I'm moving on to my chocolate nudes palette. I'm going to grab this chocolate color and that is basically going to be my transition shade. I'm just applying that 
all over the crease area and making sure that I blend it out properly. Oh yeah, by the way, I apologize for the camera focusing constantly. I forgot it to put it on manual mode before shooting, so sorry. Going back in with a palette, I'm going to grab the lovely bronze shade and this is going to be packed on to the lid area. Um, make sure that you kind of apply the eyeshadow all the way to the masking tape, even on the masking tape because this is really going to make sure that you cover all the areas of the eye that you want to. Um, next up, I'm just going to blend once again and then I'm going to go in with the... Um, what is it? The um, I think it's called Hakuna Matara. <laughs> I love the names of the eyeshadows. I just absolutely adore them. But yeah, here, uh, yeah, it's the Hakuna Matara one, and I'm picking that up with a small pencil brush, obviously from my Gold Digger collection, and I'm just really defining the crease a little bit more using that lovely dark brown, and then I'm gonna go in with black. Um, to define the crease even more but we are constantly going to blend so here I'm picking up the captain of the black pearl <laughs> and yeah I'm applying that into my crease area as you can see very very defined and then I'm gonna just blend it out before moving on Picking up the light shimmery shade from the Rouge Vintage palette, the Lux palette. I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyways, I'm just going to use that color to highlight my inner tear duct area, and then I'm going to go ahead and really pull off this marking tape. And as you can see, a beautiful, clean, crisp line, which just really makes it easy for applying eyeliner because you know where your wing has to be. So moving on, I'm just touching up with a little bit of foundation that's left over on my brush and then we're going to go in with a camouflage um, concealer once again and just do a little bit of concealing and highlighting if you want to call it that. And then I'm going to blend that out and set it with a matte um, powder. I forgot to record the powder one but I do have the name coming up for you. <laughs> Going in with my favorite Popeye's Daily Dose greenish color, I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line and just also using a brush that I used before to kind of smoke the color out at the bottom. So moving on to eyeliner, here yeah, I'm using the Catrice Dip Liner 
um, in Stay With Me, which is a black liner and it's waterproof as well. But I'm using my rose gold, my gold digger um, eyeliner brush and it really just helps me define that line perfectly. Also with the masking tape we had, you can kind of see that it kind of helps you with where you want your liner to go. And then I'm just going to coat my, my lashes with some mascara. I am going to put on some false lashes for this look. But you guys can totally just skip the step. I just love wearing false lashes. And if you do love wearing false lashes, then dude, girl, be you, you know. Um, so here I'm just blending my own lashes in with the false, uh, with the false lashes using the same mascara. Um, and this is just really going to help the look look a bit more natural instead of seeing your own lashes and then mascara. Um, I mean lashes. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so bronze up the face. Um, yeah, I'm using the Sun Glow bronzer and it's a very natural um, bronzer which I like especially because we're heading towards winter so you don't want to overdo your bronzer you, just, you still want it to look natural and then I'm adding a little bit of highlights I'm using the illuminating highlighter pen just dabbing that onto the cheekbones and then using my fingers to blend it out um, also on my cupid's bow this will also just give your lip a bit of a fuller look and on the tip of my nose For blush, I'm using Multi Matte Blush in Love Rosy, and I love this because it has the darker colors going towards the lighter shades. So you can pick that up and just really swoop it onto your cheekbones with a darker color on the bottom side, which will also add to a contouring effect. I think that's quite cool. <laughs> For the lips, I'm using Floral Coral, and this is a pink shade. This is a lovely, lovely pink shade, but I just don't know if it matched this look. Um, yeah, I'm just going over with a glossy lip gloss, just add a bit of more gloss with it and that's it. So this is the final result of this makeup tutorial. I really, really like the green colour, it's one of my favourite colours ever. I think it will look really, really nice on people with brown eyes. Um, you can totally leave the lashes and the winged eyeliner if you only want to do like the eyeshadow part. But remember, all of these products are available at Diskim. And um, yes, they are really affordable, really good quality. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay sweet and then I'll see you soon. Bye!